So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss a very important government college in India that's called NIT Tirchupalli, popularly known as NIT Tirchi. So today we are going to discuss about the entire information of NIT Tirchi. Will be very informative, just a small request. Please don't put your phone down, keep watching till the end, you will really enjoy. All right. Now, before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the things that we are going to cover in the next 10 minutes. We'll discuss about the NIT Tirchi first, then we will move on to the courses it offers. Then we'll discuss about the eligibility for Indian and NRI students. Then we'll discuss about the reservation of Indian and NRI students. Then we'll discuss about the entrance exam that is required to get into NIT Tirchi. Then we'll discuss about the required cutoff for the Indian and the NRI students. Finally, what is the application process, how you can apply? Is there any scholarship opportunities or not? We are going to discuss that part also. And still, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section below. All right. So let's start this video. So let's start with the about of NIT Tirchi. All right. So it's a government college. It was established in 1964. Uh, it's a deemed university under UGC. Spread it over an area of 800 acres. You can visit the site www.nitt.edu for more information and updates. And the courses which it offers is affiliated by the government of India and accelerated by NBA. Total, there are 17 departments. It basically offers three types of courses. Again, bachelor's, master's and doctoral program. So in the bachelor's, it is B.Tech, B.Arc, M.Tech, M.Arc, then MBA, MCA and MS by Research and PhD. We are going to discuss in detail about all these courses. Don't worry. Then exams in general, it accepts the scores of J.E. Mains, GATE, CAT and NIMCET, the mode of application is online. Like somehow if you just visit this place, this place which is Tirchupalli, now how far this college is from the railway station or how far this college is from the uh, airport, this is 18 kilometer away from the international airport, Tirchupalli International Airport and 19.5 kilometers from the railway station, that's Tirchupalli Junction Railway Station, all right, not too far. Now let's discuss about the courses which NIT Tirchi offers. It offers again three types of courses as I just told. Bachelors. In the bachelors it is BTEC and BRC. In the masters this is MBA and MCA. And in the doctoral this is MS by Research and PhD. Again there are various specializations. We are going to cover in the coming slides. Alright. Let's move on. So now let's discuss about the eligibility criteria for the Indian and NRI students. Okay, so this is a general eligibility criteria. This is for the Indian and this also applies for the NRIs as well. It says that the candidates must have passed the higher secondary examination, which is 10 plus 2 or equivalent from the outside India only and secured at least 60% marks in each of physics, chemistry and mathematics as three of their four subjects of their study under part three. Okay, so now there are again eligibility criteria as per the courses wise. So this is just a brief about what is the major eligibility criteria in bachelors. If you're thinking to enroll in bachelors program. All right, let's move on. Let's discuss about the eligibility criteria in detail about the various courses. So if I just discuss about the BTEC course, the eligibility criteria is such that you have to score minimum of 75% in your class 12th provided your subjects would be physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology, biotechnology or any other technical subjects with 60%, 65% of the reservation category. We are going to cover that reservation thing also that what is the reservation category in NIT Tirchi. Also the student need to appear in JE means exam and have a valid score obtained in JE means. We will cover that cutoff thing in the coming slides. All right. Now we'll talk about the BTEC and BR. Now this is about the BR. For the BR candidates must have passed class 12 again 75% aggregate in mathematics and 65% for the reservation category and need a valid J means score. Okay. If I talk about MTech. So in the MTech, BE and BTech with minimum of 60% aggregate. And again, there are some categorization. So if you talk about the categorization when students from OBC category, students from SC, ST or PWD categories, again, they will be getting some relaxation session as in such that they have their cutoffs low if you just compare with the general students all right same applies with m arc you need to have b arc with minimum of 60 percent and again 55 percent for the obc and reservation category also student need to have a valid gate scorecard so he has to pass the gate score gate exam with a valid score 
okay if i talk about mba so for the mba you have to have graduation 50 percent no matter what your stream is like for mathematics for physics chemistry anything you have in your graduation doesn't matter but yes you have to have a valid cat score i'll cover the cat percentile it is generally 80 percentile in nit Tetschi. if i talk about mca this is you need to have bba or equivalent with mathematics or statistics or business maths with minimum of 60 percent aggregate marks and also the candidate have to pass this entrance which is NIMCET. So this is an entrance exam. Once you pass, you will be enrolled or shortlisted for MCA. Now again, MS by research, you have to have BE or BTEC with a minimum of 60% and you have a valid CAT score, okay? Talking about PhD, which is a doctoral program. So candidate must have passed his or her master's or MS degree in engineering or technology with a minimum of 50% and just a brief again if you are net qualified then you will be given some preference preference as in like you are not supposed to submit your research work if you are going for research now again there are various domains in the phd you can visit the site for more information all right let's move on let's discuss now before i move on let me just announce a very important part here now this is for the nri students so for the nri students we have prepared an nri ebook that is related to dasa and ciwg you can download it from the link in the description below so a complete set of nri ebook that will be really helpful for the preparation of nri students all right let's move on now let's talk about the reservation of the students let's talk about the reservation of nri pios ciwgc and the desa category so in all the nits this is not for the terchipalli this will be for the varangal this will be for durgapur this will be for all the nits it says that in nits there are 233 seats reserved for the nri and ciwg candidates for this out of which 156 reserved under nri quota 77 under ciwg and the eligibility is such that the candidates or the students have their date of birth after 1st october 1994 Okay, now again, there are some respective courses. If you are going for some research work or if you are going for some other academic departments, then in that case, there are certain requirements and eligibilities. You can check the site. All right, let's move on. This is the general reservation criteria for the NRIs, PIOs, and CIWGC and the DESA. Now, for the Indian students, being a government institute, it follows a general pattern. It follows a general pattern like for the SC and for the ST. This is 15 and 7.5 percent of the total seats being reserved. If I talk about the OBC, this is 27 percent. If I talk about EWS category, this is a new category. So for them, this is 10 percent of the total seat in respective courses. Okay, if you can take it as a total number of seats, that's again a good point. But let's take it like per courses wise. All right, let's move on. So now if I talk about the entrance exam, what entrance exam you need to qualify. So for the BTEC, you need to qualify J mains with a valid score. Right now, we'll cover that score in the coming slides. For the MBA, you have to give CAT, MAT, or CMAT. So these scores are being accepted: CAT, MAT, and CMAT. And again, final selection is done on the basis of GD and PI. This is not in the case of BR. This is not in the case of BTEC. Right? In that case, you just need to qualify the exam. But in the MBA, you have to pass through group discussion and personal interview. Normally, Tirchi helps its GD and PI activities in IITs. Like if you're in Delhi, then you can go visit IIT Delhi for the interview purpose or interview thing. If you are in some other states, there are IITs or educational institutions in which this GD and PI are conducted, right? Post after, I mean, post the CAT result, okay? Let's talk about MTech and MSc. So if I talk about MTech and MSc, again, you have to pass GATE exam with valid score and seat are centralized council for MSc and MTech. If I talk about the PhD, there is a written test, proper written test conducted by NIT Terchi. You need to pass that exam and then interview is conducted, right? In some of the cases, you may are, you know, supposed to present your research work or other documentation, right? This is important for the PhD because ultimately this is a doctoral program, all right? Now, for the BR, again, this JE main scores are accepted. That's it. So this is just a brief about the entrance exam that which entrance exam you should be looking for while you are respective targeting that colleges and courses. Okay, this is general. Now, this is not for the NIT Tilchi. This will be for the all NITs, this eligibility criteria, this entrance exam. Okay, now let's discuss about the required cutoff, which is the most awaited thing. So if I talk about the G main score, so if I talk about, let's say, Let's discuss in such a way that if I just compare 2018, 2019, and 2020 cutoff by ranks. So the first cutoff closing was 913 in 2018. It was 876 in 2019 and it was 564 in 2020. 
this was the first round now you can see this call is being reduced which means that students more and more students are applying in these types of colleges again you can see a sharp decline in the second round as well 1022 in the 2018 11 is a 4 in 2019 and directly 635 in 2020 so that keeps on decreasing which means that you have to perform better you have to do your best in j means essentially because 75 percent class 12 is not a big deal everyone can get right the main parameter which they sets while entering into the bachelor course is j means so you have to perform best in j means all right the similar fashions follows in third fourth fifth sixth seventh rounds right if i just talk about let's say the seventh round it was 1140 the closing 1373 in the 2019 and finally 845 in 2020 all right let's move on let's discuss about the desa ug for the desa this is round one 65 cutoff was in 2020 and in the round two it was 75 in 2020 so that keeps on increasing you can see this marks is from the marks of physics chemistry biology or respective technical courses okay if i talk about the cast the cat percentile now cat is for the mba so there are sectionals that you need to i mean just bare minimum sectionals that you need to you know score this is vrc dilr and qa 50 percentile they have said general and your overall should be 80 percentile now again there are categorization 80 percentile for the general students if you are a reservation students if you are obc if you are sc if you are st then of course your uh, cutoff will be really low because these all are government institutions in the government institutions there are certain norms that these colleges need to follow all right it will be somewhere around 65 percentile for the OBC candidates and 50 55 percentile for the SCST candidates. You can visit the site for more information. All right. You can also follow the threads, various threads. Okay, now let's discuss about the gate. So the gate cutoff for the round one in 2018 was 755, 855 in 2019, and 779 in the year 2020, which is last year, right? Now if I talk about in the second round, it was 747 ranking, closing ranking, and it was nil i mean all the seats were occupied and 756 in 2020 again you need to perform better in gate because these scores really matter all right let's move on let's talk about the application process so the application process i just said is an online you just need to i mean go through the site fill the form upload the necessary documents once you are shortlisted after the exams and all the eligibility criteria you will be called for the test and gd and py in some respective courses once you qualify, you are called for the counseling process and then you will be given seat in the respective course. All right. So this is just a brief about the application process. And yes, NIT Tirchi, even all the NITs offer scholarship. Now, this is not only for the NITs. This is for the general NITs. You can visit the site like National Scholarship Portal. You are eligible to apply. You can visit the state scholarship. Where are you from? Like if I talk about in this scholarship, this is Engineering India's Limited Scholarship. Now, for the SC and ST candidates pursuing BTEC program, these are offered 3,000 rupees per month. The scholarship is being offered and annual parental income must not exist 3 lakh. Again, there are some criteria that is set like your parental income or your income certificate should have income less than 3 lakh per annum. Now, there, again, there are some fee remissions. Entire fee will be reimbursed for the general OBC EWS category if you belongs to general OBC EWS students. And again, there are certain conditions like your parental income should not be more than 5 lakhs. There are various norms you can visit because these norms keeps on changing from category to category. All right. So in short, 100% fee waivers for the SC, ST and PH students. This is confirmed. And full revision of tuition fee for the general OBC students. Again, in that particular case, there are certain conditions, certain conditions as in like your parental income or your family certificate income, right? That should be less than 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh. That depends. That keeps on changing from category to category so it will be best if you visit the site for the scholarship you will have fair idea so this is just about nit tirchi and updated information i hope you enjoyed the video again if you have any doubts any question you can ask in the comment section below and again this is one of the top college of national repute if you're targeting this college you need to work hard to get into it all right so this is just a brief about this i hope you enjoyed signing off thank you